Welcome. Tell us about yourself. I'm Maria Prince. I work at Junebud as a writer and a scripter, usually. So, um, let's see. I've been writing a very long time, uh, and I've studied uh, anthropology and computer science, so I have a nice mix of background for it. So what does a game writer do? Uh, the game writer decides, uh, well, comes up with the story, the characters that are important to it, themes and the mood, but then you also have more um, stuff that's not quite as fun, like uh, writing item descriptions, lots and lots of those, and um, uh, promotional material, that sort of thing. Uh, what other disciplines do you interact with normally? I usually talk to the game designers um, and level designers, concept artists, um, modelers, uh, pretty much everyone at some point. Uh, what other projects have you worked on so far? I've worked on Milmo and Tough Tanks. Games is said to be a very rapidly changing industry. Does that affect you and how do you keep up with it? Uh, it doesn't affect me too much, but I do. Uh, well, I keep up with it. They say that if you want to be a novelist, you need to read novels. So if you want to write for games, you need to play games. So I try to play a lot of games and check out what other people are doing. And I also watch other people play on YouTube to see what doesn't work in uh, expressing what the player is supposed to do next and that sort of thing. So you have quite an academic background. Does that uh, differentiate you from other game developers? Uh, no, actually... A lot of people at Junebud have uh, have a school background in uh, game development, so I'm different in that sense. But as I'm told, uh, a lot of game developers have other backgrounds too, more academic backgrounds or really whatever. What inspired you to get into making games? I really like games. Uh, I love to play. Um, mostly, probably, I would say horror games, uh, Fatal Frame series, uh, the early Silent Hill series. How did you get your first job in the games industry? Well, I know a couple of the founders of Junebud and they really needed a scripting intern. I had good English skills and some technical skills, so I got the, an internship based on that. So I worked up from there. Now that you work with games, is it like you expected? There are more people involved than I thought there were. <laughs> um, but other than that, no, I would say it was about what I would think, as far as a mixture of art artistic portions and um, technical portions. Uh, what would you say is the best part about your job? I love concepting and world building. We do MMOs, so there's uh, world building is a big part of it. So do you do some concepting also? Uh, not not concept art, but like uh, sitting with a concept artist to concept what the new world will be, for instance. Uh, do you have any f advice for aspiring game developers? Learn to do more than one thing. Uh, especially, some positions are more in demand than others, so concept artists and gameplay programmers are pretty much uh, usually in demand, it would seem. But if you want to write for games, you need to have other things you can do too. Uh, art or scripting or programming. Okay, thank you. Thank you.